Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. Today I thought I would celebrate May the 4th with Princess Leia. So these have been sitting in boxes in the cupboard for some time. I ended up cracking this one open out of the box before I even filmed and I thought, well I might as well just do a little video on it, seeing as though it is coming up to the date. This little one, so it is a replica. Just pop this little stand off. Well, I suppose, what do you call it, replica? Like a re reissue. Um, it comes with the the little latex type of cheap plastic cape and a little gun accessory as well. But Princess Leia, I think one of the one of the best characters in my book, to be fair. Um, so it's the little three point, is it 3.75 type of scale? So it's just the legs go back and forth, arms, there's no other articulation other than the arms, legs and a little head twist. But it just brings back so great memories really. I had all of these when I was a kid, literally every figure, every um, spaceship and stuff like the at, at absolutely amazing so but once I hit me teens I was told to give them away so which now you absolutely regret it but since these came out like I say I only got these I didn't want to go down the route of collecting all again but you never know so once you start, it's one of them things. But I got, like I said, that was the first one I got was the little layer. And then I got this one for the 50th anniversary. Um, the Power of the Force, Princess Le Leia Organa. And then on the back of it, it just gives you... You might not be able to pick that up actually because it's like metallic type of stuff but yeah it just gives it like a little bio there on the front so I'll just crack this open <coughs> this one is a lot more detailed I don't know what size I don't know what size this came out, but this came, this was released back in 2021, I think it was. I'm sure it was around 2021. So she comes with all like quite textile type of garments on, but a lot more articulation. This head bobbles as well as turning left and right. Not only has she got the 360, she's got elbow joints and the wrist is on an actual little tilt joint as well. She does twist at the waist, but then she does have articulation at the top of the thigh, double jointed on the knee and a pivot joint on the ankle as well. She's got these little silver boots on. But yeah, full articulation. She's got this little bendable hair in a little plait down the back as well. But she also comes with the the medal that she put over Luke's neck at the end of the film as well. Now, the other princess layer I got was the Organa. Up with the the bush is it uh, outfit again this is the black series came out in 2014 on the back it's got like a little bio on there as well but she comes with a few accessories so let's crack this one open getting this one out of the box on first looks I think this is probably the better type of detailed figure I have seen in the ranges that have been released 
it's got like a little textile little cape and it's stitched actually round this little combat brace thing she's got going on the arms themselves they actually bend straight out and pivot from the shoulder as well as do the 360 she's got the articulation on the elbow and also the pivot wrist as well waist it does turn but it is restricted because she's got this combat type of gear right wrapped around um, the thigh has got a twist it's got double jointed on the actual knee and it's got a pivot twist on the actual foot as well and obviously the head does pivot up and down and twist but the, it's just the detail on the figure itself I think it's definitely the black series is probably the best if I was gonna go although this gives me reminiscence of back in the day when I used to collect them all I think if I was to go down the route it would probably be the black series I would start collecting she comes with the helmet and again detail wise it is really accurate for it it's got all the little colors in there as well and that just slips oh my god that looks even better now she comes with that little ball device thing which just sits in a hand like so she also comes with this little gadget now I don't know I can't remember what this is so I haven't seen the film in such a long time it's got like little lettering on there which I can barely read out but maybe you'll be able to pick that up and it's got like a little peg so I don't know whether it would just fit in a hand like so and then she comes with this big long staff which fits in the other hand so this little ball thing it has got a hole underneath now a hand doesn't have a little peg to actually fit it in and I can't see anywhere else ah is that for there well that fits in there as well so maybe that could go in there but the little ball I think it would just balance would that be in a little tiny hole I think it might have been a little peg in there to actually fit because that is gonna get lost without a doubt but there it is my little review for May the 4th be with you <laughs> so let me know your thoughts drop the comments out of the series what do you think is the best what have you started to collect give me a little heads up like I say this gives me childhood type of reminiscence for it but for the detail wise I would probably go with the the black series but yeah let me know your thoughts drop us those comments in while you're there do the usual with the like subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but thanks for checking in on this one and I will see you on the next take care